Before we begin, remember to like and subscribe, as your support is really appreciated. I also want to give thanks to Predator Cues, Town Chalk, and Kamui Tips. Without them, these videos wouldn't be possible. Philly Fingers here, discussing what happens when you don't solve problems early in a game. In this game, I'll show you some problems that occur and what happens when they're not solved early enough in the rack. So to begin, my opponent will break. On the break, he makes the five ball in the corner. We also notice that if he's going to play solids, the four ball will become the problem ball. The four ball is tied up with the 11 and the eight. Since the four ball is a problem ball, you want to see how can you break it out as soon as possible. So looking at the table, probably the easiest ball to use would be the three ball. Three ball ideally would go into the bottom right corner and you can bring the cue ball off the rail into the four and nudge it closer to the side pocket. Now instead, the shot was hit very slow and he was setting up for the one. So for me, I think this is a missed opportunity where we could have used that same shot with more pace and kind of loosened the four, moved it closer to that side pocket. Now, when pocketing the one in the corner and bringing the cue ball around, he hits the nine, which now creates another problem. And that problem will now be the seven ball. The seven ball looks like a pocket hanger, but now with the nine where it is on the rail, it makes a tighter window to reach that seven ball. And that can be a problem later on. So since this is such a tight window, I would actually hit the seven ball next. But instead, he's aiming for the two ball and will try to set himself up for the six. I'm sure he'll now use the six to get back on the four. So again, he's targeting the first problem ball, but kind of forgetting the second problem ball that has been created. So as you see, the longer we wait to loosen those problem balls, the harder it's going to get to get position. But here he has a really good angle, so he's going to use the six, come off the rail, and go directly into the four. And that will solve the four problem. Still hasn't solved the seven problem, but he's getting one ball closer. The challenge now is going from the four to the seven. So the four obviously is going to go into the bottom right pocket but how to get to that seven, because the seven has such a small window. To go in between the nine and the 15 is a small, tight window, but you could also go behind the nine against the rail, but that's even a smaller window. Since he's overrun that window between the nine and the 15, he has no choice now but to go behind the nine and to try to go rail first into the seven. But that's such a difficult shot that as you see, it rattled out. By missing that shot, when I come to the table, I have very simple shots. I have no solids in the way, and I or any other skill level three can come and clear this rack with relative ease. And that's the problem with not solving your key ball early enough in a rack, or playing defense early enough, is that the only thing you accomplish then is clearing the table for your opponent. And as you can see here, I'm just knocking simple shots in with relatively no effort. And that's where you lose games right away and how a skill level three can just come in and take a game over with minimal effort. You always wanna be sure that unless you feel confident that you can run out completely, that you don't try to run out. Play up until the point where you are gonna play defense and play a lockup safe where you can get ball in hand but don't try to force the run out. And keep in mind, even if I wasn't going to run out or I was a lower skill level where I didn't feel I could run out, with all my balls on the table and the seven up against the rail where it is, I had plenty of opportunities to play safe, play defense, force him to kick at the ball and force him to probably miss and get ball in hand again. Remember, the more balls you have on the table, the more opportunities you have to not only make balls and set yourself up, but also to play defense. So the advantage is going to that person. That said, 
again, it's always important to remember not to start a run out unless you solve your problems first. And if you feel you're gonna get stuck along the way, don't commit to the run out. See where you can play safe. And that's my take on what happens when you don't solve your problems first. Till next time.